Hi, my name is Byron Pierce, and I'm a freshman in chemical engineering. Jumbo, my name is Ryan Johnson, and I'm a graduate student in energy engineering. Hi, I'm Noah Johnson, and I'm a junior in bioengineering. that we designed this semester. Um, here we have a 55 gallon drum that we cut the bottom off of and we welded a, a stainless steel cone to the bottom. And uh, we have some standard black iron piping that goes through. And uh, we, down here we have our pump that pumps the mixture up here and through the heating element. And then it comes back into the top of the barrel here. This biodiesel reactor costs fifteen thousand dollars, and you can only do thirty gallons per day. Whereas our eco biodiesel reactor costs around four hundred dollars, and can do up to forty gallons a day. The reason our reactor vessel is so cost effective is because all the processing parameters are carried out in one reactor. So the oil is loaded into the top of the reactor, and the methanol and catalysts are loaded through the bottom in a safe manner. They are pumped around with heat to completion, and at the end of the reaction, the catalyst is neutralized to prevent any reverse reaction. Then, the biodiesel and glycerol are heated up to drive off the methanol through this condenser and are plugged in this vessel. Then, the glycerol is separated out and pumped into a separate vessel. And then once uh, the glycerol is separated from the biodiesel, the biodiesel still needs to be purified. So a certain amount of wash water will be added and allow to separate out. Then, and then the water is pumped out of the vessel and the biodiesel is finally heated up to drive all the water out and then it's pumped out and ready for use.